the sign says going in, attention, it's berry season, which means the bears are active. And this one says, warning, bear in the area. Good morning. Morning. We, uh, Pierre and Renee, are um, actually going on a hike on our zero day. We, um, this is our Yukon trip. And after finishing the Don Jerk, there's so much hiking in the area and so much beauty that Pierre and I decided that we were going to do a short hike. Short hike. Um, it's called King's Throne. And so we climb up. It's just a climb up and then a climb down for a beautiful view of Kathleen Lake. And, uh, you know, we... Sophia genuinely needed the day off, so we decided to leave her to her herself at the hotel, and we're going to enjoy nature again for a day before we take off tomorrow for our second little hike. But this is uh, um, starting out to be beautiful. Let me turn the camera around so you can see. Going down this dirt, kind of old mining road, dirt road, and King's Throne, I think, is right there in that center. Lots of very steep short switchbacks. where we're going to turn around the wind is getting a bit strong and uh we don't really want to get blown off the ridge but we climbed up a bit higher than the throne and we're looking over kathleen lake it's really quite expansive up here very impressive view worth the hike and uh it's just big and beautiful Just finishing the steep part. Now through the woods, back to the car for our adventure of the day to be done. And then this afternoon, we'll be spending time doing laundry, getting our food ready for tomorrow's uh, start of the Slims River hike, weather permitting. Making it back to the car, finishing up the trail. Hey, love, yeah. what are your thoughts about the trail? Well, it was beautiful. The views are beautiful. It was extremely steep and unfortunately too windy, at least for me, my lightweight body to get to the top as being so steep, I was not able to control or balance myself. 
I'm telling you, you can keep going off the, the mountain. So, overall, on a beautiful, sunny, still, warm day, it would be an amazing trek up. Downhill is a bit tricky because it's really gravelly and loose rocks. So it's, um, you just got to take your time and as Pierre always tells me to do, put your poles in front of you. And, uh, but you know, you're really concentrating every step you take. You can know the centric quad muscles. Uh, but overall, you know, given a little less windy day, although I hear that it's pretty windy all the time up there, um, it would be beautiful. Unfortunately, we didn't make it all the way to the top. It was a good decision on my part, I believe. I agree. Sometimes hard decisions are the best decisions and there's no failure in turning around. And if you... this is supposed to be a rest day. Oh, and it's supposed to be a rest day. There's Pierre reading the interpretive sign as he likes to do. Yeah, it's quite windy. Don't want to, wouldn't want to be in a canoe. Okay. Hey, pheasant there, there's the ma, there's the baby. And if I scroll over here, there's the mama. Mama's like, ah, I don't want anything to do with you. Oh, where did the little one go? The little one over here though. Mommy's calling to him, saying, hey, get over here. We finished the trail back at the truck and we are going to head back to the hotel, be with Sophia and flip the camera around. Oh, that's good. And there's Pierre again reading the interpretive sign. End of another trail. Adventure number two for our Yukon trip. We came down to Catherine Lake. We were looking out on when we were up there. There's the bowl we were at. Yeah. We climbed. And our surroundings. Yeah. The sky is turning a little bit blue. You see the water. Pretty sure the water would be a bit chilly to swim in. morning and we're starting off on our well, third for us second for Sophia adventure into the Yukon Mountains on the Slims River West Trail. We are currently at the trailhead and getting started. It started out as a pretty nice day. It's a little bit of breeze. so far. Headed off down this trailhead. The I Chu West Trail. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Is that supposed to be the Karen that we're supposed to follow? Maybe no. it's a Karen. But oh, we're supposed to stay on the road. Maybe just a Look over there. Just make it in across Sheep's Creek, easier creek crossing, and as we're doing up Slim's River West Trail, we're continuing up this valley, up towards that area up there. So the first of several creek crossings. It's apparently they get more and more challenging as we go on.
just made it across Bullion Creek without any difficulties. And now we're just hiking up the river sill, taking in the views, the big open spaces, enjoying the fine weather. making our way up the riverbed here. Blessed with a beautiful day, unlike what the weather forecast had said. So we're so happy about that. And just can't get better than the views. Every direction. Went up and down, up and down in this forest aside the riverbed there where apparently it's super muddy, mucky, um, quicksand they call it. So they keep you up here in order to avoid that, but it's kind of sprinkly, rainy, sunny, all at the same time. <laughs> but it's kind of cool through here. There's the toe of the glacier that we're gonna to attempt to try to see tomorrow from Observation Mountain. We're less than a mile from our campsite. We had to climb up over this head wall here to get around the muddy bottom of the Slims River. There's a glacier coming down, a bit of sunlight. And up there is Observation Mountain, covered in clouds right now as we speak. finished up our dinner, got some dark cloud over there which has been hanging out there all day. And then over this way we've got a little patch of blue sky there above the mountain. We're hoping that is coming towards us. And this is the direction that we will have to go tomorrow. Hoping for some clear skies so we can view the glacier. and cheese and then we're going to head up to bed go to bed early because we're planning on getting a really early start tomorrow morning probably around six good morning we've gotten up a little bit early we're assessing the situation to see whether we're going to go up to observation mountain or not it's a little bit sprinkly we got to see how low the clouds are but we're going to have some breakfast and we'll talk to you when we get back from breakfast well after waiting for a while for the weather to get better. It's drizzled the whole time, but there's the mountain that we should be on top of to look over at the glaciers. And the clouds are a thousand feet below the top of the mountain. So, and across the way there, we've showed you before there was a glacier coming down and you can barely see it because it's bar buried in the clouds. So we've decided that we're gonna be hiking out and then find another place to camp and making the best of the situation. This is, still was a beautiful hike just up here just to see this. Um, we'll definitely put it on our bucket list to come back. Here's the direction that we would have went. We had went this way, crossed the Canada Creek, and then made yourself up over this way, and then up into the mountains over here to get to the top. But as you look, 
you can't see the top. And we all know what a cloud feels like on the inside. If it wasn't cloudy this morning, we would have hiked to the top of Observation Mountain and overlooked this image that I got off the internet of Kalskawash Glacier. What an amazing sight, and we'll definitely put it on our bucket list to see in the future. Getting later, layers as we are hiking out. We have a bit of a hill first, and then it's basically flat. But Sophia had a shed of a puffy layer because going up a hill real quickly get you warm real quickly. Making our way across this alluvial fan again. Lots of rocks are dumped out here. Clouds are still low as we're making it down the river. Sophia's got her dream, mama bear and her cub. Passed them at the perfect time. We're at Bullion Creek. We'll be crossing that momentarily. We'll probably go up where it's a little bit more braided up there and then make it across. And if we're stopping for lunchtime, got our tents pulled out. I sit down here and just up that way is on the other side of those crops of trees that go over there. It's where we saw the grizzly bear and its mama bear. What an exciting day for us. That was the highlight of our trip or this trip, considering that the mountains over there are still covered in clouds. After lunch, across the creek, no problem. Heading down the trail. Dried out our stuff. And now we're just seeing where we end, we'll end up for the night. We'll keep you posted. The lake's probably just right over in that hole. It's getting close. We found St. Elias Lake. It's really pretty. It feels very remote. Here's our last campsite. For this trip. Made it down for this trip. What? Made it down to the lake. It's a beautiful view of that mountain. I'm gonna go down to the lake and have some dinner. It's tr the sun's trying to come out. Yeah so hard.